friends, it's Paige Evans, and I know I am long overdue for a new process video. I have been busy working on big picture classes, classes, a studio calico class, bookbinding classes. Anyway, so I'm getting back to my roots of scrapbooking and sharing the process. This layout is featuring four spools of ribbon that you can find at Hobby Lobby, which is super fun and also a little weird. I don't know, it's like, there's your face right there. Um, anyway, I am starting by scraping white acrylic paint or gesso across the background of this white textured cardstock, giving it a nice background for watercolors to go onto. I am using my Pink Paisley Oh My Heart collection. That is uh, what the spools, the, the spools of ribbon match the Oh My Heart collection. And so I am mixing and matching watercolors. I've pulled out paper number 12 as a color reference and I'm using the packaging technique to smudge watercolors across the background. I did use a hair dryer to dry up that gesso, make it faster instead of waiting for it to dry. Just wanted to start playing with the watercolors. This is an old set of low Cornell watercolors that I got on Amazon a long time ago. You can see they are well loved. I use them often and I have to get a new one pretty soon because some of these colors are almost out. I, yeah, so I'm not, I don't really have a rhyme or reason right now. I'm just kind of trying to fill up the entire background with smudges of color. So, yeah, I know most of it is going to get covered up with pieces of ribbon, but I do like having the pops of color sneak out from underneath the pieces of ribbon and pattern paper. Once the watercolors dry, I'm going to trim, these are about two and a half to three inch pieces of ribbon. There are, like I said, there are four different spools, one with colorful polka dots, one with the birdies and floral images, and one with all floral images, and the last one is colorful squares and triangles. So at first I thought I was just going to do overlapping bits of ribbon, but then I wanted more solid color, so that piece of pattern paper that I used as a color reference has got lots of strips of pattern paper, which is perfect. It's kind of like it was meant to be. I just had it sitting on my desk and saw it there and was inspired to do this next step, which was to trim all of the strips of patterns into their, yeah, into their strips, and then use them like I was doing with the ribbon and trimming them into little two and a half to three inch strips and then adding them into the mix. I change up the layout just a little bit by not having the ribbon and pattern paper pieces overlapping but instead leaving a teeny tiny gap in between each piece. But for now I'm still just trimming the pattern papers. I will, I'll trim more ribbon. Basically I'm going to create three rows of ribbon and pattern paper strips and that is going to be the colorful and fun and yeah, fun background for featuring these pieces of ribbon. So here we go, adding more ribbons, more pattern papers, finishing up this background. It was a little difficult to move these with my fingers, I don't know. <laughs> so I used a pair of scissors to move and nudge them around. I'm trying to create an all over rainbow of color, that's one of my favorite things to do is to, you know, have orange here and there, have pink here and there, have yellow here and there, and not have them all right next to each other. The next step is to glue everything in place. I did bring out a ruler just for a, a little quick reference. I definitely didn't try to adhere them straight, didn't try to adhere them perfectly, but I did use a little bit of adhesive to attach every ribbon and pattern paper in place, and then I use my sewing machine and a straight stitch to attach everything in place permanently. If you don't have a sewing machine, just make sure you use a permanent adhesive to attach everything securely. Quick straight stitch through all three rows. Trim the excess, trim off the extra ends of thread. Sometimes I leave these long. In this case, I am trimming them right up to the end. Using a family photo of us in Oslo, Norway, even though you can't see anything in the background, that's where we were when this was taken. The That uh, pie chart heart and hello circle cut file are from the Silhouette Design Store. I've been having fun. I teamed up with 
silhouette to design my own cut files and they are now in the shop so I'm trying to use them a lot and feature them so that's where that pie chart heart and hello circle cut file came from. Now I'm using scalloped border punch to trim four borders from white textured cardstock and I'm going to adhere and stitch them around the edges as a fun and textured border bending up the edges a little bit to create more texture and then I also did the same thing with the pattern paper strips that were stitched down. I did bend them up just a little bit. Now I'm creating the photo cluster and using, again, Oh My Heart with Pink Paisley and layering that round floral die cut, the photo, the Hello Circle die cut, and the Oslo thickers. Adding a badge that I got from when I was teaching. They made these cute exclusive badges in Mexico. And then two charms, two heart charms from Oh My Heart. And now I'm using a pencil to write my journaling along the curve. I like using a pencil first to make sure everything looks great. Went over it with a pen, added that rose gold flower sticker and a heart puppy sticker. And that, my friends, finishes up this layout. Be sure to go to your local Hobby Lobby and pick up some of these ribbon spools.